There are symptomatic medications, primarily for fatigue. Um, the one that has had the most clinical studies done on it is pyridostigmine, or Mestinon is the name brand. It's used in myasthenia gravis, which is another neurologic disease that affects nerve muscle connectivity, causes weakness, causes fatigue. It's solely caused by the immune system, but that's something that post-polio may share with it. So we've tried pyridostigmine in polio survivors to help with weakness, to help with fatigability. Um, my impression is that it can help restore some function in those areas, but the two double-blind placebo-controlled trials that were done did not reach statistical significance, possibly because every polio patient is different. Um, their weakness is going to be different. The amount of fatigue they have is going to be different. Um, they may have more of an immune effect, more of an aging effect going on, and the effect of the drug may be different in all of them, and you average them together, and you average out any effect that is there. There was always a trend to benefit, but it never reached statistical significance. So when I've met with, you know, the physicians who conducted the trials, you know, talked with other people who manage polio survivors and say, you know, are you going to stop using Mestinon? because of these two studies, and they say, no, you know, we're still going to use it in inappropriate patients. It does have side effects affecting the GI tract, um, but you know, I think it's a reasonable thing to try. Another one that's had at least one controlled study is Modafinil. The brand name is Provigil. It was initially licensed for sleep disorders, um, people with excessive daytime sleepiness, um, people with narcolepsy. Um, it has now been approved for um, other daytime sleepiness and fatigue problems so that that was tried in a controlled study in post-polio. Again, didn't reach statistical significance, but I think it can benefit polios, especially those that have sleepiness during the daytime, either from disrupted nighttime sleep or just the amount of total body fatigue that they're having. Mm -hmm.